Hi, Vinny Smith here from VPix Guitar Picks. Today I would like to talk about the new guitar that I just received in the mail from Fernandez Guitars. This is a Monterey Elite. And Elite it is. I'm very impressed with this guitar. Well, the first thing that knocked me out when I opened up the case was the abalone around the body, around the neck, around the head. Just a really nice job too. And it's really, I'm sure it's abalone, but it's very nice. Uh, this guitar has a very, very curly top on it. It's a 22 fret guitar. Something that I've, most of my guitars are 24 frets. And so I wanted a 22 fret guitar. Uh, I am going to replace this nut, not that I'm having a trouble with it, but I do put Buzz Feetin nuts on all of my guitars. So that in a couple weeks that's going to go away and a Buzz Feetin is going to happen there. Uh, it does have gold hardware, something I've never been crazy about even when I played Les Pauls back in the 70s. But it looks pretty nice actually on this red guitar. I don't know that it would look right with with uh, nickel or silver hardware. It has telly knobs on it. Telly style knobs. Uh, I love telly knobs. I put them on all my PRS guitars. If you'll know, I don't know if you might have noticed that in the other videos. They're easy to get along with. They feel good. I think they look better. They're just a good style knob. Uh, on this particular model, I did put Tone Pros on it immediately when I got out of the box. And I did have my guitar tech put some set screws in these bridges to take out what little play there was in the guitar. There, there was still a little bit. And um, so I did those, and I'm really happy with that. So let's start off with the sound of this bad boy. This is the sustainer. It's a, it's a great sustainer, but quite frankly, I would like this guitar even if it even if it didn't have a sustainer system on it. Listen to this neck pickup. This knocks me out. And I always use the song American Woman when I try a guitar out because American Woman seems to touch all the spots on the neck that if you're going to have dead spots on a guitar where the dead spots meaning that fret doesn't sustain like other guitars or other frets, American Woman is going to hit those dead spots every time especially G sharp on the G string. That one right there. That's a deal breaker for me. If I pick up a guitar, if it has a dead spot there, the guitar goes back on the wall. I don't buy it. So I check this out. No dead spots. without the sustainer system on it. Now, when you flip on the sustainer system, it automatically puts you in the tailpiece pickup. Didn't have it on there, did I? This other switch is the harmonizer and it depends on how loud you are, depends on what room you're playing in, depends on what note you're playing. It will either ring out the third or the fifth or the octave. I think it says in their instructions that it rings out the fifth, but I, I find it ringing a lot out. Check it out. Flip on the switch now. I find it particularly useful when I'm playing something like um, Gypsy Queen by Santana where they end it on that chord. Usually I have to be at high, high volume to get the guitar to do that. So, and the, they have a Jeff Beck, Seymour Duncan in the tailpiece on this. I have dropped it way down into the guitar because I only use the treble pickup for rhythm. I don't play lead in the treble pickup. Very seldom, I should say that. I should say I don't. I should say it very seldom. And um, so I drop this pickup way down in the guitar. I always do that. 
and it just gets a really good woody sound. You hear the guitar more. It's just, it's... playing at a very low volume. I'm playing through a little rolling cube amp right now to get that. And then back to the sustainer. Use it for kind of an Evo thing. Harmonizer. That didn't work well, did it? Sense, isn't it? Um, one thing I wasn't too crazy about when I got the guitar, I knew this before, it does have a battery in it. I guess I'm an old geezer. I'm an old dog, man. And I never really liked having batteries in my guitars. But honestly, I haven't run out of battery since I got it. I don't use it all the time. I only flip the sustainer on when I want to use it. When I'm just playing regular, quite frankly, live, when you're turned up to the right volume, you don't need it unless you're wanting to use the um, the harmonizer. And this guitar's got a lot of tone in it. There's a lot of tone coming off this guitar. So I haven't used up the batteries really. I've, I've put a couple batteries in it just to see if it changed the sound, maybe because the battery was new. Nope, I haven't had that problem. So that, that surprised me as well. So I'm very happy with this guitar. I want to thank Fernandez Guitars for sending it to me. And uh, it's a really a good guitar. Uh, my, then again, I'm Vinny Smith from VPix Guitar Picks. Uh, come and see us, www.v-picks.com. We have about 30 models of guitar picks now. And um, for acoustic guitar, for nylon string guitar, for bass guitar, of course, electric guitar. And uh, call me up sometime if you want to talk about guitars, because I love talking about guitars. I love talking about tone. I love talking about playing, and I love to talk about guitar picks. You come see us, vpicks.com. Thank you very much.